said, I feel numb. I said, that doesn't make sense. Numbness is a lack of feeling. She said, I knew what she meant. And I did. I was just talking. I'm not a pedant, but I was hesitant to let silence walk in. I took her hand and I kissed each knuckle. It didn't register at first, but then she smiled a smile that meant fuck all. I don't think I want to fight it, she said without eye contact. I want my last breath to be a laugh, like the last gasp of a lab rat. And I had nothing to say back. Just smiled and kissed each knuckle again, comfort rewound and played back. We left through the lobby as I take Skaghead Bobby. <laughs> nice name, right? He said he'd run out, but if we dropped off cash now, he could sort us out the same night. So we dropped off a little money and then went and had Happy Meals. Lady's Choice, I had said, and she chose to pay Ronald McDonald's bills. I wore an upper half face mask of the Hamburglar and we took it in turns not to laugh as we ate the equivalent weight of a third of her. I used to buy a weed off Bobby back in my late teens. He was as shady as his moniker but he could facilitate our new needs. Neither of us had done ecstasy before but we bought three tabs each. Fuck it, you only live once and that's at the most it would seem. We walked along the south bank, wrapped up warm in coats and gloves. We sang songs, ran in circles, laughed and fell in love. It wasn't real love, of course, just a chemical alternative. But that was all we required, temporary life-affirming shit. We were beauty that night, through drug-tinted glasses. The sun shone on us through the dark skies as the rest of the world passed us. Our on foot adventure took us all the way down to Greenwich. Start to finish, four hours, give or take off, a few minutes. Around 10.45, as we sat on a bench, the place blew in the dark. You could see right across the river from the Cutty Sark to Millwall Park. We shared a kiss at that moment, with no sexual undercovers. She jumped to her feet and said, let's play a game. If you can catch me right now, I will tell you my name. And with that, she turned and ran as I promptly gave chase through streets and alleyways as laughs cascaded from her face. Again, I have no doubt it was down to the chemicals, but she seemed to float and glow as we bounded on like thin blood through wide ventricles. All of a sudden, like in slow motion, she hurled herself into the air. And then in the blinking sound of a splash, I was stood all alone there. There was no flailing or splashes, just the first one that broke the surface. I heard that when a girl writes off the world, it's done in cursing. I'd met her that morning in the waiting room at 7am. And 16 beautiful hours later, I'd never see her again.